everything God created is to your advantage. But unfortunately, if you don't know that is to your advantage, and not that can use it to the advantage against you. God made the elements of the universe. He made the sea. He made the sun. He made the stars. He made the moon. He made everything just for you to be well. Now all these elements of the universe are used to man's advantage. But those who know how to manipulate it can use it against their fellow neighbor. Because everything you see in this life is controlled by the subject and by the virtue of words. Some will say words. Words. When I say words, I'm talking about voices, a speech. When a word is being spoken, when you spell a word, it's called a spell. I've made it to know that a spell is not somebody putting a black powder on you. A spell, when somebody even opens their mouth and speaks, it's a spell. That's why class one, when they ask you to uh, write a boy, they will not say write a boy, they will tell you spell a boy. B-O-Y, a boy. J-I-R-L, a girl. So the moment you are mentioned, when you mention words, it's called a spell. So when somebody cuts a spell on a person, it simply means they have spoken something on them. And a spell is not good or bad. It depends on the kind of spell. There can be a good spell and can be a negative spell. When I call you out and I tell you, tomorrow by this time, good news is coming on your way. I've, give, I've put a good spell on you. Jesus. But when I tell you, you will not make it. I've put a bad spell on you. That's so right. the word spell itself is not bad or good. It depends on the mouth that is coming from. That's right. So God gives you the elements of the universe. And one element of the universe we are talking about in the next 15 minutes is the element of the universe that is called the wind say the wind the wind say the wind the wind and from a wind 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 anytime i see wind blowing when the wind is blowing a wind is moving it has a reason never ever forget they are in they are egypt going through their own whole, whole, whole battle then god said i'm going to punish the people in um, in pharaoh's land and i'm going to bring out Locust to destroy their harvest. The locust that God brought, I thought God would just say, Locust, show up. God never brought locust. He asked Moses to do the direction. So Moses controlled the wind. If Moses can control, you can control. That's right. Because Moses is a human being like you. That's right. Whatever that you read in the Bible, the people we see in the Bible, they are not more superior than you. They are made by God in his own image like you. Don't be afraid of the person in the Bible. You are now in your days. If you're supposed to write the Bible in our days, some of you would have been in the Bible. Jesus. Because all the miracles God has done in your life yes, is supposed to be a reflection of what is supposed to happen. Yes, Lord. So Moses, Moses, straight for the road that the Bible says, and all of a sudden, verse number 13, east wind brought out the locust. East wind, verse number 13. East wind brought out the locust. So why would the Bible say, and look, the Bible didn't say, and locusts came. It says, and the east wind. So the east wind has some things to do to bring about problems. So anytime problems shows up, problems are carried out and carried about by the east wind. So if you know how to control winds, you just declare that God, and the east wind bringing me my trouble, I stop it on the way. Amen. Now after the locusts came, God wanted the locusts to go away. God didn't show up and declare that, look us go. He told Moses, do the job again. And the Bible says, verse number 19, the Bible says, and all of a sudden, the west wind came to carry. Why would the Bible differentiate the, between the two winds? The east wind brought, the west wind carried out, out, away. That's right. Into the Red Sea, the source of the issue. So I can boldly pause here to declare, if there's a contrary opinion working against you, let west wind Take it back to where it came from. Amen. So the wind has to be used in your favor. Everything man needs, God has given to man. That's right. But unfortunately, the 21st century Neo-Pentecostal Christian do not know this. We shout and jump away with jargons. We speak and how are you? I'm, I'm fearfully made and I'm, I'm highly blessed and favored. Oh my God. Poor we with the pray and miracles they happen. And I pray and, they, and, and we don't know these secrets. And unfortunately, what you don't know does not mean another do not know. And the dangerous thing is if you don't know and your enemy knows it, what will you do? That's right. Knife, hear me, knife in the, uh, in the hands of the armed robber can kill. 
but life in the hands of Dr. Labi there can bring life. That's right. You, you didn't get me. You didn't get me. I said, knife in the hands of the arm robber can mug you, but in the hands of a medical doctor can give you life. Jesus. So it's not about it's not about that weapon. Who carries the weapon? So now, if you some if somebody knows how to control the wind, and it's a wrong person, they can sit down to send the east wind to come and blow disaster to a person. So one day there's another man by the name of Jonah. He has come out of the whale's belly. He and God, they are cool now. All things are well. He went to sleep. East wind begins to blow. The moment the east wind blows, he says, God, I'm ready to die. I have a question with no more Jonah. The time you're supposed to die was the time you were in the belly of the fish. But that time, crown, or say, he told God, God, let me live. He lived. Now you are out of the belly. But the moment Jonah, chapter 4, verse number 8, the moment Jonah, the east wind, blew over his head, the, number one, he grew faint. So the east wind can make you weak. That's right. The east wind can bring trouble. The east wind can bring sickness. And the east wind can cause you to wish for death. Whoever has committed suicide before, go and ask them, it was from the east wind. Jesus. And whoever has tried suicide before, they were blown on by the east wind. And today, where is the east wind coming from? Where is the east wind coming from? Who is controlling your wind? Who has access to your wind? Jeremiah chapter 18, verse number 17. I made you to know um, for about three weeks that the best place to be is for God to shine his face on you. And the dangerous place is when God hides his face from you. And look at it right now. When the east wind blows, God hides his face from a person. That's right. So when God hides his face from a person, you know the disaster that happens. And it's by virtue of the east wind. But the last thing I will tell you is this. Still, all of them are made by God. That's right. So then God, if they are made by you, why is some of them doing bad or something? I can give you the answer by asking anybody that they have also used water to kiss them and they are dead. Anybody that they have used and tried to catch them, they are dead. It was the same water. Who made the water? God. But somebody took advantage of it against the neighbor. Child of God, you are so powerful. You are so precious. Jesus. There's a place God wants you to be, but God wants you to be knowledgeable. The reason why Christians don't know this secret is because we jump after every miracle that we want. Perfect. Listen to me. Miracles out of the Bible, and the Bible will be anyhow. Miracles are made. Testimonies, I'm telling you. I sleep and eat with testimonies. But with all this, if you don't know your secrets, another can take advantage of you. Sir. Never ever miss your word of God. That will empower you and move you to your place of grace and your glory. Man. So Jesus comes and confirms. In Luke chapter 12, verse number 54. He says, anytime you see that the cloud or the wind is coming from the west, you definitely know, sure, showers are falling down. So for you to get your shower, it begins from the west wind. That's right. I don't know the kind of shower that you are believing God for. But today I came to activate the west wind. Amen. Somebody will ask a question, Pastor Daniel, thank you very, very much for this lectures. Now after this lectures, so how do I use the wind in my favor? There are 10 ways to use the wind in your favor or activate them. I'm giving you just three. I'll continue on Sunday. Number one. The only thing you need to do connected to the wind is to speak and command the wind. The Bible says, and you shall command or decree a thing, and it will be established. It will be established. So command the wind. Jesus saw the wind about to buffet them on the sea. What did he do? He commanded. And when after he commanded all the things and it went down, the Bible says, and Jesus Christ is now walking on the water. Do you know why he was walking on the water? Because the water, the sea, was the source of the wind. He That's was right. telling the wind, now you, your boss is under my feet. That's because right. the source of the wind is the sea, it's under my feet. That's why he walked on the sea, the water, the river, or the lake. All of them is water. Jesus. So when you are declaring, you declare that God, as a new day has started, if a particular east wind is sent, to bring me pain. Let it go back to where it came from. Amen. Now just declare that God, every good thing I need, let the west, west wind 
bring me my good news. Jesus. Bring me my success. Yes, Lord. Bring me my elevation. Jesus. Bring me my peace of mind. Jesus. Move me to my place where I will enjoy everything you have said about my Amen. life. Shout the wind. The wind. Shout it one more time. Shout the wind. The wind. For the last time, shout the wind. The wind. So number one, command the wind. Then num number two, look and declare on the source of the wind. We just declare that God, any wind that is moving, wherever the source is, if it is not from you, I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. If it is from you, let it work in my favor. Now, let me tell you, this is number two. I'll give you number three. The, num the third one is this. The first one is command. Number two, work on the source. Tell somebody, work on the source. Work on the source. One more time, let's go. Work on the source. For the last time. Work on the source. Number three, what works for you connected to the wind is engage your altar to deal with the wind. That's right. So, first of all, you need to have an altar. What is your altar? Where is your altar? You just declare that, Father, let the altar I believe in, the altar of the testimony city, locate every wind that is blowing. There are north wind and south wind, but I'm doing only east wind and west wind because I'm not doing a series. I would have told you what the north and the south wind can do. So every day, use the altar. That let the altar, let the altar, let the altar visit that wind. So when a wind is coming, so clear example, let's say he's a wind, he's coming. And now I've activated the altar. The moment I've activated the altar on my behalf, when the wind is coming, if it is an east wind, the altar knows how to stop it. That's right. If it is a west wind, the altar knows how to bring it to me. Jesus. What is your altar? What is your altar? And where is your altar? Today I came to activate the altar on your behalf. Amen. And, 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 and listen... Anywhere you go, any part of the world, any wind that blows there, may it blow in your favor. Amen. So this is the good thing that you can also work with the east wind. Can I tell you the good thing about the east wind? Sir. We know it's about bad, bad, right? But there's something good. If the east wind can bring trouble, simple, then I'll just declare that God, the person tormenting me. Jesus. Oh, I can't feel you. Yes, I can't feel Lord. you. Where they are working against me. Jesus. I also command. Yes, Lord. The East wind. Oh, do, 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 Jesus. Are saying this. You are already spiritual. Yes, Lord. The last to say the amen will be the first to receive. Amen. Say the East wind. The East wind. Work for me. Work for me. So look at Job chapter 38 verse number 24. And media, media, hello, uh, the four testimonies, are they ready? The four testimonies, are they ready for the lady? Are they ready? Are they ready? Thank you. So look at it right now. It says, well, what is the way to the place where lightning is dispersed? Or the place where the east winds are scattered over the earth? So the east wind can bring a scatter. So sometimes when they set confusion against you and you want the confusion, Confusion to be scattered. Jesus. You have to activate the east wind. The Bible says they can come against you in one way, but they will live in seven ways. Jesus. What is the meaning? It is called scatter. That's right. Because when they were coming, they were united. That's right. But when they were living, they had been divided. Jesus. So what can cause them to be divided yes. is the east wind. Clap your hands. Jesus. I am done. Yes, Lord. Let the people come. Let the people come. And let me show you this. Let me tell you this testimony. One person has four testimonies. And the testimonies don't make sense. The testimonies don't make sense. Amen. Can I move? The testimonies don't make sense. Okay, let's, let's pray first. Connected to the way. Be on your feet now. Be on your feet. Don't miss the communion service. You're taking the communion. However, if you have communion drink, you want to bring it as well. I will also activate it for you as well, and you will use it. Um, Saturday morning, the prayer breakfast meeting. And on Sunday, how to activate your wings. And Sunday, um, I will give you 
ten things the east wind comes to do and the ten things the west wind comes to do. And I'll show you the application. So one of the application of the east wind, one of the application of the east wind is that you can use it to scatter your enemies. And number two, you can use it to clear away. And number three, you can use it to bring disaster to your enemies. That's the good thing that can be done. And how to use your, um, uh, how to activate the wings. You command, work on the source, engage your altar. And also on Sunday, I will show you how your hands can be used to activate the wings. Your hands are so powerful. All the time the, the wings were operating in the Bible, any time somebody's hands were lifted. In the days of Moses, when they got to the Red Sea and the Red Sea had to be opened, God told him to lift up the hands. Even when the when, when east wind had to bring the, um, the locust, he said, stretch forth your hand and the, and the staff. And all of a sudden it happened. Human hands are very powerful. That should be very careful who shakes your hands. Sometimes somebody can just look at you and if they, they want to read your destiny, they say palm readers, they read your hands. Your hands are powerful. Never joke with your hands. It's not every hand in life we shake. There are some hands, man of God, come. There are some hands you do like this and there are some hands we shake it like this. Nobody told you to shake everybody's hands. Some people, you meet them and do like this. It's That's not right. every hand you shake. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. But in all, you have to discern spiritually. You have to discern spiritually to know where and what to do. Because life is so spiritual. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Because if you, if you don't take care, you end up fighting all your life. And, and where's the enjoyment in life for? God, you didn't bring me here to suffer. Then I have to wait and die and go to heaven to enjoy. No, he made this place for us. That's right. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. Yes, God made this place for you. Amen. Walk in that grace and glory. Amen. Don't let somebody tell you you are supposed to suffer all your life. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's why anytime the devil is operating, I become angry at the devil. The devil don't try. The devil don't try. Devil, don't try in the name of Jesus. Lift up your right, right hand with your right hand. And after that, I'll anoint everybody's feet in the name of Jesus. Like yesterday, some of this scenario, yesterday I was prophesying to a woman. And I told, her, um, I told them that um, this is what I see. The woman that we have to pay the rent for, cry. what was the prophecy? I called her out and I said, may God come true and nobody have to finish every child in her life again. She came in, yeah, she came, um, I told the pastor to confirm, I said, what's happening? And she says, this is her first time here, her friend brought her here. Is the woman here? Then she said, okay, yes, yeah, she's there. She said, I had only one daughter, 36 years. The daughter was working, something happened, boom, dead. And the sad thing is that where she's living, she's living in a sister's house. The sister is an American, the sister has built a house, so she is living there. Then the sister came and said, right now, they want to sell the house. So she had to find some place to go. Don't insult the sister, please. Now, the, 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 what I will talk about here is, if the daughter at the age of 36 was alive, the daughter would have said, mommy, forget about it. I have a place. Let's go. Sorry. But right now, her only daughter is gone. Until God laid on my heart yesterday to give her 5,000 CDs. And other people stood up. Over five, five people. People will lift up their hands. I want to give five times, five times, five times to get a place to rent. So look at it right now. You take away the daughter and take away the house. Lift up your right hand. Nobody should insult the sister because the property is for the sister. Do a pen or day. Yeah. Because black people, we like to put our burdens on other people. Yes, it's good that you can let your sister stay there, dear, but you don't know why because the sister too is married. Maybe the husband too wants their family. You, you, you understand? So sometimes, I want to say, no, baby, I say, am I saying the truth at all? That's right. Yes. Lift up your right hand. Because life is not Nollywood. It's only in Nollywood that somebody do you bad. And after one month or one year, the thing will turn and the person will be on my baby born. Be right. So you're careful to be a newborn. Eh? I'm telling you the truth. Life is not Nollywood. Life is not Nollywood. Life is not Nollywood. Like um, somebody did you bad and broke your heart and 
because of that, then the person went to also marry and somebody broke their heart and you are happy. Hey, <laughs> am I saying the truth at all? Yes, sir. Listen to me. You need to be real in life. That's right. You have to make sure you don't become a victim. If you are waiting for trouble to happen to somebody, God is not a Nollywood script writer. That's right. So let God guard your path and your steps for things to work well so that Amen. God will favor you and God will give you success so that Amen. your success will silence them. Amen. Don't waste them but let your silence so your, your success silence them. Amen. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Some people, instead of them focusing on their life, they are waiting for trouble to happen to somebody. Some people, That's right. Because I'm, let me tell you some people, you don't know the altar their mothers are on. Lift up your right hand. So get to a place. Don't wait disaster to happen to somebody. Say, God, remember me. Do something. He said, God, give me, show me a token of your goodness. Show me a token of your goodness. So that your eyes will see. Give it to me right now. Give it to me right now in Psalms. Let's go. So that your eyes will see that you, God, you have helped me. Yeah. Lift up your right hand. So the 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 the, the, the says, yeah. Lift up your right hand. Look at it right now. He said, "Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me." Yes, Lord my God. So don't wait for their trouble to happen. Yes, Let Lord. God give you the token of your goodness. Amen. On one one, they will be ashamed. If you don't work on yourself and we are waiting for their disaster, a better check. That's right. Even after the disaster happens to them, and God has not helped you, what will happen? So it is a two way street. God help me and scatter them. Jesus. Let's up your right hand. One prayer. We are about to work on the wind. Say wind. 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 I can feel you. Wind. wind. Oh, have you forgotten Captain Planet? We say wind. Win. Let our powers combine. Say win. Win. <laughs> Lift up your right hand. Say win. Win. Hear my voice. Hear, Hear my, my voice. voice. Now I know. Now I know. The east wind. The east wind. And the west wind. And the west wind. You that east wind. You that east wind. That you have been sent. That you have been sent. To scatter my good things. To scatter my good things. I know you now. I know you now. Stop on your way. Stop on your way. I know you now. I know you now. Stop on your way. Stop on your way. You that is wind. You that is wind. Blowing around my house. Blowing around my house. Blowing around my family. Blowing around my family. I stop you. I stop you. On your way. On your way. Now. East wind. East wind. I stop you on your way. I stop you on your way. Say the west wind. The west wind. Now hear me. Whatever we are doing here is not just for now. You are declaring to the wind of tomorrow. Yes. The right. wind of two days time. Jesus. The wind of 2025. Jesus. So it's not only, only today. It's a wind of the next years ahead. Say west wind. West, west wind. wind. Bring me my good news. Bring me my good news. West wind. West wind. I activate you. I activate you. Bring me my good news. 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 Bring me my elevation. Bring me my elevation. Bring me my success. Bring me my success. Bring me my favor. Bring me my favor. Now say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If another person, if another person has activated, has activated any wrong wind, any wrong wind to work against me, to work against me. I overrule them. I overrule them. I overpower them. I overpower them. No. no. Say, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. By your mercy. By your mercy. Let the west wind. Let the west wind. Bring me my good people. Bring me my good people. Church, let me tell you. Let me give you an illustration. It will surprise you, man of God. Come. That this man here is your destiny helper. Come, brought down better. This is you. Face him. Face him. This is you. And this man is your destiny helper. 
It is the west wind that has to push your destiny helper to you. That's right. But if you're not careful, first of all, if you're not careful, whilst your destiny helper is coming, if the east wind is higher than your west wind, whilst he is coming, then the east wind. So somebody, when somebody wants to fight, help you, then an east wind That's right. will be blocking them. So some of you, it is your marriage coming to you, but an east wind. Jesus. But any east wind blocking your breakthrough, Jesus. blocking your success, Jesus. let the west wind be higher than them. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the west wind, let the west wind, let the west wind, let the west wind, let the west wind be higher than the east wind. Let the west wind be higher than the east wind. Let the west wind be higher than the east wind. Let God arise. Somebody shall fire. So life can be summed up in this way. What is coming to you and what is going away from you? What you want it to come to you, it comes by the west wind. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Do, do you know that? For the rest seat to be open, for the water to go, it is the east wind that took the water away. Give it to me. Exodus chapter 14, verse 21. Just see, is this a secret of the Bible, of the life? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's hurry, let's go. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea. Uh -huh. And the Lord opened up the path uh -huh. through the water with a strong east wind. With what? A strong east wind. East wind. So why do you honor people say a beb fakwa? East wind. Lift up your hands. May your west wind be higher than your east wind. Amen. Testimony city. That's not how we say amen here. Amen. Say may my west wind. May my west wind. Work over the east wind. Work over the east wind. Angels of God. Angels of God. Work right now. Work right now. I activate you. I activate you. Now. Listen, anything in your life. Jesus. That you don't like. Jesus. Let the wind take it away. Jesus. Anything that is foreign. Jesus. Anything that is alien. Jesus. Anything that is not from God. Yes, Lord. That is not part of what God made you. Jesus. On you and on your children. Yes, Let it get out from you. Jesus. By the oil in this commission. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. By the grace in this house, Jesus. may God speak on your behalf. Amen. So it's either, hear me, the wind is blowing for you or against you. Give me Mark chapter 6, verse number 48. It's either for you or against you. Look at it. It says, he saw that they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind. Against the wind. wind. Give me NIV. So that we know that the wind was against them. I like that side. Now let's all read together. Let's go. He saw the disciples training at the all. Because, because the, the wind, wind was, was against them. So the wind was what? Against them. Lift up your hands. Is the wind against you or for you? Jesus. Sunday, let me show you how to activate your wind. I'll give you three. I'll give you the last seven on Sunday. Lift up your right hand. Pray as if your head is not there for the next five minutes. And the God of all grace, God of all miracles. When I said to you the testimony of the lady, I was asking them for testimony to shock you. You give you a scan report, x-ray report of a lady that doctors say her ovaries are not there and she's 20 weeks pregnant. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. We need to get to a place where what we know about God is not a storybook matter. Say altar. Altar. I can say altar. Altar. Say altar. Altar. Be activated. Be activated. On every side. On every side. You see the man from yesterday. 
You remember them? Yes. From yesterday. God gave them a serious word. It's a preacher from the UK with the wife. Where's the wife? The wife, where's the wife? Where's the wife? At the back there. God gave them the word. They, no, 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 this one is too much. They said, this one, we've not seen that before. In this great man of God. The wife too is a doctor. And, and they, they went to a funeral and saw a friend. Where's the friend? Where's the friend? The friend is here. And they said they were saying that the friend said, listen to me, I don't want to talk. Just come to my church one day. Today, second day. Lift up your right hand. Your time has come. Amen. Amen. May the good wind go and bring you your certificate. Amen. Amen. May they bring you your approval. Amen. Say, oh, we, oh, we. Hear, my hear my voice. Bring me my success. Bring me my success. Take away the disaster. Anybody too. Anybody too. That's activated. That's activated. About Win against, me. against me by the altar. By the altar. I block that win. Somebody clap and receive your win now. One prayer only. We come to pray and believe God. Somebody pray. Use your win, use your win, use your win. This is spiritual. Kayato, your documentation, your certification, your elevation, your favors. Use your win. Rabaya, yeah, 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 yeah.